Welcome to my channel, The Review King. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. That way you can be notified when I make another helpful video. I'm always here to help. If you have any questions about stereo equipment or anything in any of my videos, don't be afraid to ask. I can always help out. Today we're going to be installing virtually any game system, anything with HDMI and we're going to be looking at how to install it with an AV plugs like this PlayStation 2 right here. So today's going to be a great episode. If you have a receiver like this with these HDMI ports in and you want to hook it up to your TV, no problem. We'll go over that first. If you have something else, we can go over that in a minute. You're going to plug your HDMI in to one of these inputs and then you're going to run it out to your TV. So you want to keep in mind what kind of things you have. If you have an HDMI capable TV and you have an HDMI device, technically you can plug that device straight in to your TV. And then now we want to put a receiver surround sound in the middle of it. So we're going to go from the game device to the receiver. And then right now from the receiver to the TV. And then when we plug it into the TV, I want to keep in mind exactly which HDMI port that I plugged it into so I can have the setting, the input setting on the TV on HDMI 1, the correct one. Now this method works with anything. Here's a Chromecast, straight in, input 1 on the surround, plug in the Chromecast, good to go. This mini Super NES, get the right power supply, plug that in, easy to install, HDMI my same one I have straight through the receiver and keep in mind you can plug any of these directly into your HDMI TV just put it on the right input and you're good and so if you don't have an HDMI there's AV if you have AV or something different like this let me know we can figure your problem out we can get you sorted out but if you have AV um, you basically, or if you have the green, blue, and red, you plug them in here, then we're going to run a separate line up to our TV and we can run through here and then we're going to pass the sound along and the full signal with the video along to the TV. So we can have sound on the TV as well as on the surround sound. But if you, you know, you want to go the easier route with less cables, you can always run the video up to the TV and you can run your speakers separately with the sound. So it's easy to do. You may find if your receiver doesn't have the HDMI ports, you may need something like this HDMI audio extractor. I can put the link right down below in the description. And this audio extractor just gets a left and right stereo signal so you can get a left and right output basically out of any system with an HDMI. If we didn't figure out your problem today, let me know in the comments down below because I love to help you. I love to get you sorted out. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on and we'll see you real soon.